Hi everybody and welcome back to Taylor Style. I know that it has been a very long time since you have seen a video from me. Um, I don't even know how long it's been to be quite honest. I feel like this is probably like seven months of like no videos before this happened. Um, but I want to first follow by saying thank you all that still actually are subscribed and still follow even though there's been no fresh content. Love you for that. And thank you to everyone that has reached out to me. I've had a few uh, subscribers over the past couple months reach out to me and make sure like you know is everything okay? so forth and so on. I know I have endeavored even the last time to make sure that I stayed consistent with YouTube and the Taylor Style platform that is on YouTube and keeping you guys updated with fresh content and ideas and creation. But the truth be told, there was just so much going on in my life that it was just completely impossible to do so and maintain sanity and clarity of peace of mind and all of those wonderful things. But I was going to wait to film this video and be like all glammed up and all that kind of stuff like that. I don't know if anyone can see, I have like two eyelashes left on this one and like four on this one. I am a mess right now. Like, life has been so crazy. So I just kind of wanted to do this update like real and raw before we go back into like curling up with fresh content and creating new um, stuff for you guys and just kind of reinventing or reinventing uh, the Taylor Style YouTube page and what it's going to be about and what I want to do with it and how it expresses me to the world. Um... So let's not wait. We're not going to, you know, we're not going to do a whole bunch of extra bull. We're just going to dive right into the facts of what has happened in my life the past seven months. I haven't talked to you guys. So I went through, let's see, I went through a failed partnership. I went through a failed friendship. I went through a failed business. I went through um, <laughs> probably the, one of the most hardest years of my life, 2019. I'm filming this video on, hold on. It is December the 9th, and, um, yeah. And I'm just like, Jesus, be a fence, be a lash, be a keeper, because this year has tried me in every way possible that I could be tried. Like, um, it has just been a lot. Cup of Joe is officially closed. All of you know that that was a huge dream of mine. It has been a week and a day to the date that Cup of Joe's has been officially closed. Um... It was a decision that was very much bittersweet and not easy to make, but I had decided that because of certain circumstances in business as well as um, stress and just so much pressure on me, I was like, I cannot physically do this anymore. Like, I cannot. It's not worth this much um, turmoil for me. And so I officially closed that. Um, it was very public um, and very... Very bittersweet, but at the same token, I am very glad that Cup of Joe's closed. That is one of the probably the biggest weights relieved off of me. Um, but now I am sitting here at the end of 2019 and thinking to myself what comes next. I really, um, this is probably going to be more therapeutic for me than it is like an update, but like I keep thinking to myself like, what's next? Like, what comes next after this? What, you know, everyone's like, oh, Joseph, this is just the beginning of what you begin to do in the world. You've left your mark on so many people and, you know, the long-lasting effects of what you've created will be with people forever. I've heard really sweet comments and really amazing people come up to me and encourage me during this time. But as a person, as a 24-year-old entrepreneur, I very much feel um, lost. I think lost is the perfect word. Um, I feel kind of uncertain of what's coming next, of what's going to happen next. There is a lot of responsibility just because Cup of Joe's closed doesn't mean that actually I get to just walk away. There is still a lot of stuff I'm responsible for and figuring out the details for until this is fully taken care of. There is a lot of um, financial stuff on the back burner. There is a lot of business stuff on the other side. There are contracts, agreements, and there are all kinds of things that I still have to deal with and figure out what comes next. I still have the salon. Um, I'm not gonna lie at a point in all of this I was wondering do I even want that just because it's just like anything that was stressing me out I was like it's got to go like it's got to go um, and then like I said on top of all this one of the biggest things that I've had to deal with is just the personal um, my personal life I have lost two very good friends that um, they didn't pass away let's just start there I lost two good friends that I um, cared about dearly and realized some things happened that you know I'm not gonna say that they weren't friends but the friendship was not healthy to either one of us, so that happened. That was very hurtful. Um, I also kind of had my faith and trust tested in people just because um, there were a lot of situations that happened among this time that was just like, 
you really get to see people's true colors when you can't be at the level that you normally are or when people can't get from you what they want. And you just really start to see people and who's really there for you, who really can ride with you. I think a lot of people see me, and um, not to sound arrogant, but a lot of people see the lights, the glamour, the two businesses, the, you know, uh, all this stuff and materialistic items and think that, you know, oh, this is an easy ride. This is a friendship that I want to be a part of because this sounds like I'm going to get taken care of. And um, it's not easy because I'm very trusting. I'm very overly, what's the word? Just overly trusting. I'm just overly trusting. I really am naive to a lot of things. I didn't grow up um, really in the like street smart and all that kind of stuff like that. I mean, I'm very smart, but like, you just learn that people are not what they appear to be. You really do in this lifetime. That is the biggest lesson I have learned out of 2018. Less 2018 has been nothing but lessons for me, and so. Um, with that being said, I don't want to dive too much into detail with uh, each individual situation. I kind of have an idea of wanting to do an entrepreneur segment weekly with you guys where I talk about some of these things in depth, but I'm not one to bash people or to shame people. To me, if you have been a friend to me at any point in our lifetime, you are still a friend and I'm never going to discredit that year or years of friendship or that duration of time that you were my friend by dragging you through the mud or bad mouthing you, even if I feel like what you did to me was beyond what I would ever do to you. I'm not that person. I'm not going to spend my time talking about he said, she said, and what I think was to blame for where I am in my life currently, but taking ownership over my life, taking responsibility and sharing my lessons with you guys in a platform for anyone who is interested in business or serial entrepreneurship or wants to be a go-getter and a hustler the way you can benefit from my mistakes and hopefully learn something from my mistakes and the things that I feel like looking back I did wrong or that I could have done better to be better. So yeah, not going to be, like I said, no super shady moments here talking about some of the people in these situations and stories for those who actually know me personally and have seen this thing play out. Um, I'm not going to be doing that. Like That's just not me. That's not my goal. I don't want to trash people. That's never been my thing. But like I said, I do want people to learn from my mistakes and be able to grow and experience this journey with me. To everyone that does follow me, I'm really grateful and thankful for the people who still follow me. And hopefully we can start a new chapter here on Taylor Style and grow together. So make sure that you are subscribed, turn your little notification bell on, and get ready for some new content that's going to be coming. I'm going to do my best to stay to weekly uploads, um, if not every other week for now until I can do more. Um, like I said, there's still a lot of things that I'm dealing with behind the scenes of this closed business and figuring out everything with the salon and where I'm going next. But I want to take you guys along the journey because I feel like um, at times this has been very therapeutic for me and very helpful for me and I know that it helps someone else and encourages someone else. So I love you guys. I'm back again <laughs> and stay tuned. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.